Jamie the D, the Mad Welshman, and this is Catacomb Kids. Um, it, the developer recently came back after a hiatus to this game. Um, they have been developing other things, but as you can see, there's been some improvements. Uh, we've even unlocked various entries, including the first boss of the game, the Reaper, uh, who is evil. And let me just move this window. There we go. Now, one nice thing, uh, I'm just going to tap. You actually have to hold the quit button. And it's C to do things, which can sometimes trip people up. Uh, I believe it's Z to jump. And we're going to start with a bully. Uh, bullies are the basically... Uh, the melee class, the fighters, and uh, yeah, it's Z, X to attack, C to pick things up. And we start with the potion. Now this is a roguelite. So, uh, cure would be a good spell to learn. Uh, I was hoping for double jump, but you know, I'll take this. Uh, oh, oh, hello, uh, that was poisonous air. Thankfully it went away as I was, uh, getting rid. Uh, Chris of stopping... not really great? Oh, hello. Thankfully the dagger is super fast. And this guy had a pike, which is not so fast. Um, none of these are particularly appealing, however, uh, we will eat this orc. Now, when we eat five food, then we get some heals. But we do not get those heals until we have eaten five food. So, it's very important to know when you can heal. Okay. So, a uh, spell book which we can't use yet, so... Um, we're just gonna throw that. Now, here's the awkward thing. Oh, I don't know where that pause came from. Um, the awkward thing is I'm reasonably certain you can't attack with potions in each hand. You have to throw a potion. Now, throwing a potion is a good way of identifying something. Except if it instantly kills whatever you were aiming at. That can happen. Yeah, there we go. That was a potion of poison, for example. Good thing I didn't. Good thing I didn't drink ID that, huh? Also, oh, oh, it's a trap area now. This is awkward. Oh, oh, we'll equip that. Oh, oh. Ho, 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 ho. No! No, I didn't duck. I didn't duck. I'm so sorry. Uh, now, when you lose all of your random characters, you can get more. Um, okay, time for the Wanderers. The Wanderers are basically the rangers of the game. They're better at speed, they're not so good at magic or strength. Um, and most of them, to be honest, have bows, which I'm never really fond of. Uh, Messy Eater will do. So. So yeah, Wanderers have a better idea of what's going on overall, and I think we can... Ow! We did not, in fact, get the drop on that guy. And indeed, we died very quickly. Oh, there were multiple orcs, so... Um, let's go with quick daggers. Okay. So it's double down to drop down. Uh, that tripped me up when I'd come back to it after a long, long absence. Okay, 
Deadly Distance. Deadly Distance is not a great spellbook, to be honest. Um, I mean, they're all powerful spells, but they're all powerful spells that are absolutely useless to our mage. By the way, if you throw things at a torch, it will fall over and set the area on fire. That's bad. And this is another trap hole. Lovely. Um... I guess we might as well use the ability, since I'm not expecting the character to live. Um... Oh boy. Yeah, no, we'd rather have died there, because that's a fire trap. That's very bad. Um... So the poets are the mages. Uh, hates daggers, whatever. Um, good magic, good luck, which means they get better items. And they start with a spellbook. Uh, in this case, the very good Magic 101. Oh, and they start with a spell. Um, what spell did they start with? One moment, you hit space to look at your skill grid. Uh, they started with the somewhat unstable wizard throw. And because we got an axe, our weapons do have a wind-up, which is kind of important because there are fishanas in this water. And unfortunately that was a risk I shouldn't have taken. Well, we'll try again. Um, Jacket of Reflection. Nice. That can sometimes reflect projectiles. And once again, Magic 101. We will permanently use some of our magic on that. And our other skill was... Shadow Cloak, which we now cannot safely use. Okay, so daggers are pretty quick. Daggers are pretty cool. We're fine with daggers. Oh, that's bad. We want to deal with that. And the way we deal with that is attacking the shit out of this chain. There we go. While obviously it's now permanently in our way, I should have explored down, I guess. Oh, that was nerve-wracking. Um, no, it, it's a great buddish, to be sure. But um, also that boulder is incredibly risky. Ow. Ow. Um... Okay, last class, and then we'll actually try and do a thing. So, uh, this Tinkerer is magically inclined. They start with a spell. Um, this one has a zap grenade. They always have some kind of item. For example, the wind-up turtle uh, tends to distract enemies. The zap grenade does what it says on the tin. It is incredibly entertaining to throw into water. Uh, it is less entertaining to be electrified. Also, we start with, uh, basically... Ow. Ow. We start with a little drone friend, who will sometimes attack enemies. Especially if we actually give it a weapon. Okay. Was there anything in here? Mm, nope. And we definitely don't want to, uh, yeah, come over here. There we go. So that kind of hurt. And unfortunately... Yeah, it's kind of difficult to uh, really get going in this game. Oh, kill rats wherever you can. Preferably before you pick up or hold an item, because they're thieving little gits. Yeah, we start with ow. 
Um, that is very often the case. So, um, we're in a bit of a dire spot, and when you're in a dire spot in a roguelike, and you have a potion, well, it's time to play Potion Lottery. Oh dear! That was the Potion of Ice, and that will always kill you. <laughs> okay. Uh, hates daggers, is a bad swimmer. Okay, fine. Um, but starts with the Potion of Poison, which is bloody useful. It doesn't kill enemies, but it reduces them to one hit point. And, oh, there were some Fishana in there. Let's see if we can kill them this time. <clears throat> um, because we're a bad swimmer, our breath is that much worse. Also, Fishana will try and attack you out of the water. As that one is still trying to do. Okay, so we got two hit points. Um, Saber of Removal... I mean, we can equip it, I think? But with less defense, that ain't good. Okay, come on up. Oh, are you dead? Yes, you're dead, so we'll eat you. Oh, thank god. Um... Okay. And once again, demonstrating that if you throw a thing on a torch, there is potentially very bad times. Also, some slimes bounce, some slimes throw themselves at you, uh, all slimes hurt. And it's a good thing we didn't go directly down, because hello there. And here is something I'd actually been wanting to show off. E Orb of Leveling. Okay. So, our intelligence is our better stat. But, actually right now we really want, like, health or attack power. So we're gonna go with that, and we're gonna go with Disarm. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of Fishana. Um, now, the nice thing about boulders... <laughs> okay, one of the nice things about boulders is that they break spikes. Oh, crap! Okay. Let's start with the bully. Ooh! Short sword of rending, you say? That cuts limbs off. That's super useful. Okay, let's go down here. That's dark arts. Uh, the dark arts spellbook. Um, I mean, some of it's good. Like, vampirism is okay, but again, like, meh. Not really a spellbook I'm fond of. Um. Okay. That seems like a prime opportunity to. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come back here, you little shit. Okay. So, what was down here apart from lots of Fishana? Uh, seaweed, Crimson Potion, which we'll stash for now. Magic in Motion, and we got Poison, so... Yum. Okay. 
Okay, magic in motion. That gives us double jump. We want double jump. Uh, and that looks almost exclusively like water, which will have Fishana in it. And indeed, an annoyed bat. Our Crimson Potion is warm. This is not necessarily a good sign, but it is a sign. That Fishana survived that. Oh, you little shit. You did. Now, as far as I'm aware, you cannot, in fact, eat Skull. I'm sorry, but, you know, I don't make the rules. Uh, Rainbow. Shit! I swear I can get to floor th 3 or 4 in this most of the time. Oh, we'll get Cure for now. So, uh... Traits. We are actually really good at spears, and this means we can stab up. Uh, magic in motion. Oh, we want that. For now, we'll have to leave it. Good job. Ah! Good durable jacket. That ain't too bad, actually. So yeah, that's a that's a particularly devious trap. Like you have to, you have to deal with the trap. Okay, so that was a potion of lightning, which, on the one hand, will zap people that attack you. On the other. Um, it has the obvious caveat that if you enter water, you will die. Ugh, just a scratch. Uh. Okay. Okay. We're okay. What's this guy got? Crab. Um. Right. I mean, there's the way out of the level, but we don't want to leave the level yet. All right, come back here. Come back here, you little. Okay, now we can eat and fully heal and. Get a start on eating some more. So each five food that you eat, you get some health. Um, right, so our path to the level up stone will be this way, unfortunately. A way that is filled with spike. And also odd potions. So the money potion is cool and oops, poison gas. Um oh it's one that we already know. Uh but cool is something I inherently distrust because I associate that with ice potions. And as has already been discussed. Nope. That was just invisibility. Well, at least we know. Now, invisibility will work unless you attack someone. It's pretty cool. We like it. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. 
So let's try leveling up our speed this time. This will... Oh, this one's so much fun. This one is so much fun. So, uh, let me remind myself... Yep, it is indeed double, double tapped dash. Unfortunately, uh... Yeah, we've actually got to get rid of that. Um... Yeah, we can run up walls. And, as noted, we auto-evade traps... Whew. When we're running. But only when we're running. Now, I believe there was a spellbook we actually wanted somewhere in this level, wasn't there? Or was that the last run? The last rather disastrous run. Oh, reasonably... Ah, there it is. Magic in motion. With double jump. So now we are mobile as hell. And I... Oh! Oops! Okay. Let's actually try and use some spells this time, huh? Mm -hmm. Ahem. I swear, guys, I'm normally better. You are good. So, mana also does not regenerate, uh, as far as I remember. without you eating five people. So... Come on. That's better. Uh, so Potion of Might... It makes them hit harder. Oh. Oh, we got a grumble down there. Whew! And they've got an amulet. That uh, might be a good thing. Oh, what was their other stuff? Uh, breastplate and shoes. No, nope, you're gonna get nommed. Um, there's a, there was also a torch they were carrying. Uh, torches are a bit of a mixed blessing. On the one hand, they light shit up. On the other, well... Okay. By the way, Goomba Stomping is a perfectly acceptable way of murdering your enemies. Okay. Um, honestly, trajectory's a little fiddly. Um, ah. Ah. Okay. Uh, equipment. Yeah. Drop the hell out of that Amulet of Hunger. Amulet of Hunger is, uh, obviously cursed. Ooh. Yay! Ooh. So, yeah, that's what a thing of heat does. It's pee good. Uh, we don't know what the muddy potion is. We know that's a potion of ice. Uh, it would be preferable for us to find something to use that on. Like that bat up there. Because bats are evil and deserve to be killed. And then burned. Now, funnily enough, there are some items for which, uh, fire is really nice. How did you grow? 
Okay, another potion of ice. This one is cool and smelly, but it is not a potion of ice. And therefore, is probably more safe than anything else we've been touching. I say as I identify it as a potion of poison. Ah, this again. Oh, shit. Should have thought about that. Really should have thought about that. Um... Yeah, the other use for a wind-up turtle, we might be able to show that off. Yeah. Yeah. When you jump on a mushroom, it's really bouncy. And that room depended on that, and I did not... I, I'm embarrassed to say I did not, in fact, notice that in time. So, the wind-up turtle... Honestly, that was the best use of a wind-up turtle I've seen- I've ever had in a game. Normally, what you do with a wind-up turtle is you wind it up. And, for example, in an area like this, if I hadn't edged my way onto a spike, uh, it would allow me to set off traps without setting them off myself and distract enemies and make noise. Yes. So, the fun thing here is that we are an unstable caster. What this means is, we cannot rely on any of our spell casting. Oh! Found the level up orb. Like, almost straight away, that's good. Okay. So, um... Strength, I think. And we will do... Uh, heavy, heavy lifting, because heavy items are a thing. Now, what you can do with, uh, your bot is they can defend, they can, uh, use a weapon. Buzzing breastplate. That's a risky proposition. That is basically an electric breastplate. And I believe we've already mentioned that... Uh... Oh, I see what it did. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. So it picked up the potion and sprayed it. That's... that's legit clever. Oops. Um. Well, anyway, let's move on to the second level. Funnily enough, um, the level up orbs are strictly what controls your leveling up. So, yeah. Okay, let's. Okay, that went okay. So this Grumble Corpse, uh, he's got an amulet. Sometimes these amulets are good. So, obviously, I prefer, um, Warhammers. But if I now order my bot to pick up a... ...a weapon... Or can they only do it with mana potions? Um, this might be... Oh, wait. 
Um, come here. Come here, boy. Okay. Nope. No, come to me. There we go. There we go. Oh, we finally got it. So now we have a halberd. Oh ho ho ho. And what else do we have here? Venomous Hatchet. Um, Dark Arts, which is okay, I guess. Uh, that's a muddy potion and a spell book I don't believe we've encountered yet. And a lot of poisonous shrooms. Oh, yeah, because we're hungry, we actually lose food over time. Oh, yeah. Now, the thing is, a grumble will at least try to run for the nearest exit, so bugger! Oh, that was poison. And this is Potion of Might, which is as useful as a chocolate teapot. Let's just move to the next area to show what a skull means. A skull means that there is... A couple of enemies are automatically alerted. Wow, that actually went pretty good. Um, so, what was our amulet? Oh! Amulet of hunger, of course it was. Uh, um, I don't think it really needs to be repeated that lava bad. Oh, tiny bubbles is normally a good sign. Um, charged sandals, definitely bad. Do not want charged sandals. I mean, on the one hand, like, we, we do not want charged in general. Um... Oh, right, okay. That was pretty good. Now, what is at the bottom here? Is it fire? It is not fire. And we did, in fact, disarm him, I think. No, we didn't. Good spear of sensing. <sighs> Do we like spears? Traits. Uh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We like spears. So, uh, yeah, let's get that. We never did fi find out what the inky potion is. Um. Oh, hey! This is the... This place has traps everywhere. Ah, should have run. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the, uh, the trap event is very nasty. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with one more and I'm gonna show, um, Roll New Kid. So, you earn coins from reputations like Relatively Innocent, you died early, uh, Glutton, you ate a lot, 
so what we're going to do is we're going to give them, um, yep, yeah. good with weapon, uh, we're going to give them, uh, these are Wanderer, so good shoes. Resourceful. Magical armor. Now, can we also give them a spell? We cannot give them a spell. However, uh, we'll give them a crown. <laughs> And their modifier will be glow hmm. of empathy. Uh, unless we got yeah, of empathy. There is a reason for that. Um, good with spear, just because I like spears. Um, I'll give them an amulet, and they will have boots. I've never seen nasty. Um, they will have boost for the comedy value. And they will have a magical map. So that cost us 40 points. Uh, can we also affect their... No, we can't affect their stats anymore. We used to be able to do that. But, um... Yeah. Boost boots are great. Unless you have spikes above you. In which case they're terrible. Whew. Um so now we don't have an arm. Uh, so, I'm reasonably sure there was a amulet under there. Um, no, no. Well, we're off to a great start. Now, he was already poisoned, presumably by the toxic cloud left behind. Your food. Uh, we're not gonna roll you. Rolling you would, in fact, be very bad. There we go. Uh, yes, you can indeed squish things if you push a boulder into a person. Well, if you have a rock in a hard place. Yeah, that's the best way of putting it. Uh, so we will definitely want some extra defense, so that we can maybe, uh, not get murdered by all these Fishana, who are going to attack us from every goddamn direction. So the boost boots are very simple, they help you jump higher. That's all they need, that's all they do, that's all they need to do. Uh, now the empathy, however, see these little dots of light? Those are enemies. Nah. So we knew in advance about that slime. Not that we really cared. Uh, oh yeah, magical map. That's what it does. It lets you know the whole level layout. Uh, we've already got double jump uh, portal's okay. Um. Blink, I guess. So. Nope! Well, that's been Catacomb Kids. Um. 
honestly, I enjoy it, despite the fact that the early levels are hard as balls. Um, despite the hilarious deaths, because it's a nice, easy start. You can indeed customize characters quite well. I like the aesthetic. Um, yeah, overall, I just enjoy it. So thank you very much for hanging out on the stream. Uh, if you like the reviews, the arts, the streams, then please support the Mad Welshman, and I hope you have a lovely weekend.